Now, it's absolutely my pleasure to introduce a dear personal friend, uh, someone who at the right time asked the right question, how can I help? And then simply said, I'm going to help. And I know it's always strange and weird for her to say, for me to say this and for Mitch to mention it, when she simply said, I'm in, and not only am I in, I'm in for a million dollars. And then she kept saying, I'm in for another 500000 and I'm in for more. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a true angel, someone who understands the need in the community and how we can make a difference. She is generous. She is wonderful. She cries an awful lot, so forgive her now. <laughs> but y'all give it up for a dear friend of this community and for everyone who walked in. Rose and uh, They know I will cry at the drop of a hat. Uh, two pages, but I type really large because I can't see. <laughs> you know, it is truly a tremendous feeling when a dream is fulfilled. When I met with my friend, the mayor, a few years ago over lunch, I said to him, I've been very blessed, and I'd like to, to give back. And he shared, well, he asked me first, what are you passionate about? And uh, the first thing out of my mouth was domestic violence. And I mentioned a couple of other things. But he said, well, you know, the city has been trying to do something here for quite some time and we just haven't gotten it off the ground. So I said, I'm all in. Having been a victim myself, I couldn't think of a better way to help the citizens of Denver. Thank you, Mayor, for helping my dream come true. I swore I wasn't going to do this, but these are very happy tears today. I'd like to next thank Maggie. Without you, I don't think this, we would be standing here, sitting here today. The center wouldn't be open. You are phenomenal. And Margaret, you guys have worked so hard to raise the money, and we needed over $13 million. We're almost there. Still have some to go, and I'm going to speak on that a little bit later. <laughs> uh, I thank the DA's office, Mitch, your staff, city attorney's office, uh, Steve, Margaret, Josh. You've all been so great. Um, we had a fundraiser a few years ago, and... I'm not sure if it was Josh's idea, but we gave little tins of mints. It was Josh's idea. I still have some. He gave me a bunch after the, the dinner was over. I'm still giving them out. Um, and I said when I made my comments that, you know, a little poor black girl from Oklahoma had made it when her name was on a tin of mints. Well, my God, now it's on a building. <laughs> I am so grateful. I'm not going to uh, be redundant and name all of the individuals who have contributed to this center. You guys know who they are, but I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. We are poised to help, unfortunately, probably over 3,000 individuals a year. 
I understand that's how many domestic violence cases the DA's office deals with. And keep in mind, those are the ones who come forward. There are thousands of others who suffer in silence. Many die on an annual basis. We're here to help them. So this is the beginning. This is really, in my mind, the beginning. This is when we start to help people. We're ending one phase, but we're starting the most important phase. I would also like to thank the architects. I think you guys did a tremendous job. I saw this space before the construction started, and oh my God, you would have had to have seen it to truly appreciate how wonderful this is. And I thank the construction company uh, for the tremendous job that you did, uh, Melinda White, and also for your contribution that I understand you're giving. Was that, was that 100,000? Uh, let's see, what else do I have on here? Um, you know, I just pray that this center is going to be a beacon of light for the citizens of Denver that are seeking hope for a brighter future. I believe in my heart that it will be. God is good. All the time. Okay, so I would be remiss, since I have the microphone, if I did not encourage each and every one of you in this room to give whatever you can. We still need almost a million dollars to complete the renovation of the second second floor, <laughs> pointing up. Um, and I'm going to close with the words of my pastor before they pass the plate at church. <laughs> As you write out your checks, millions is spelled with an M and billions with a B. Thank you.